Hey, all the peoples, this ridiculous badger, I'm coming at you with something similar to the last time, but decidedly different and less epic. We are going to be looking at the Mech Fans Toys Jiao Long Sub. It's a convertible, it's a transformable figure. However, it's not part of any particular license. This is actually a real world thing, or at least it's a model of a real world thing. And it is a model of the Jiao Long submarine, which is a deep sea submersible that, um, that was created by the country of China. And it is, it's actually pretty cool. It is one of the, I believe it is, it is capable of going to the second deepest depth that has, um, of any vehicle of any submersible and it's a it's an exploration vehicle so it, it's super cool and we'll take a quick look hey look i got this from aliexpress so i didn't get a box as happens i decided to um save a little bit of money and so i mean this was this cost me like 36 bucks and i think it is well worth it i think this thing is super cool um but that meant that it came without a box it came well it did come with a box it came with a foam box you know um and i actually i got there's a recent reissue on this which has a bonus it's got like a little pilot i mean we'll go into accessories but um mine is not one of the reissues it's just a bare bones version so it doesn't have the pilot with it and um you know and in fact it had been sitting in the warehouse for so long that the included battery comes with a battery for a light up feature the included battery had gone dead i had to replace it but that's no big deal that's no big deal this is the weapon accessory that it comes with, and we'll see this more in bot mode. It's a harpoon gun. It comes in two pieces, and you just very, very simply load the sucker, and it does not fire or anything. Looks pretty cool. There's nice uh, molded detail. You know, it's nicely painted. You know, very simple, but nice, nice. Then we get, um, as uh, Magnus Deacon would say, we get these destructions. Uh, that come with it and a few of the extra pieces like the grating on the lantern these mechanical articulating arms very cool very cool thing these these um you have to you have to install yourself and it's very simple it's I'm sure you can see this it is a snap-in peg over here and this grating just snaps right in, and then this lighting rig at the top, that, that just all snaps right in very, very easily. So we get these destructions, whatever, and we get this relic of the old world, which are a whole bunch of postcards. Like, I'm going to use these, but um, look, it's got cool artwork. You know, as far as I know, this, look, this is a... This is a, 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 you know, it's it's a project that the Chinese government and Chinese people have a lot of pride in. And as you can see, it says, you will always be the pride of China. Zhao Long. <laughs> Zhao Long is the name of the submarine. Okay. Yeah, but very cool. You know, and that's what we're going to look like when we get into bot mode. Super cool. You know, obviously, look, I don't, I don't know anybody's address. I'm not mailing these, um, but I like them. And it will always be the pride of my collection. <laughs> so, very quickly, before we start um, transforming this sucker, a few things to take note of. Um, it does have an LED feature. You simply pop the top, and like I said, mine had been sitting in the warehouse for so long, because it is not the reissue, um, that the battery had gone dead, and it, it's super easy to just take a screw. I'm not going to show you guys. You don't need to watch me screwing anything. Um, and, you know, you put in a CR927 battery, and then that lights up. And it, it's coming across on camera much, much brighter than it actually appears, uh, you know, in the flesh. But anyway, um, what's cool about that is it, it goes inside that, uh, that intersection, you turn it on, and ooh, you know, the windows light up, which is nice. It is nice. I, I do enjoy that. Um, and then there is, in here, this is the cockpit. It's got some really nice molded detail, um, different colored plastics. Uh, I don't think anything in there is painted. And it's got space for a little pilot, and McFans Toys put out a bunch of Diaclone um, third-party 
um, figures. So those will, I believe those will fit. And if you ordered the reissue, you got a little diacone pilot that would fit in there. But that's not something that interests me. Like, I don't care about pilots. I just care about robots. We'll take a quick look at this. Get a little bit up close. Look at some of these details. You can see some really, I, I love that paint application. The front, like I love that, um, you know, there, it doesn't it doesn't bleed over on anything because these are panels and you can see it's very panel -y, but it does not feel panel -y when we go through the transformation. But I do love that that orange, that reddish orange paint. Of course, we got the, um, the Chinese flag and then China Jiaolong. I'm sure I'm butchering that and not um, not actually pronouncing that properly. We've got really nice silver paint applications. You know, nice little details, nice little molded in details. And in the cockpit, I mean, there's some nice detail in there as well. Very nice. We got, of course, those um, those jets with the gratings on them. We got that rig underneath, all of it, you know, it, it screams class. You know, it, this is, like I said, this cost me like 36 bucks. Um, it was going for retail in the United States um, for about 50. So I was happy, you know, I did have to wait a good amount of time to get it from China. But, um, you know, great deal. Cannot argue with this. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's look at some scale, right? That's what we want to do. We'll bring in some scale. We got move this. Get this out of the way. Got Kingdom Optimus Prime, Kingdom Earthrise Optimus Prime, whatever, what have you. Let's see how they scale together. Um, get out of here, Prime. We got Siege Barricade, so you can see how he scales with a deluxe size figure in vehicle mode, and then for another Mech Fans Toys scale, we've got, get this out of the way, we've got Camera Brothers, Mech Fans Toys, Camera Brothers, in their combined mode, I freaking love this thing, this thing is amazing, great, that's what we've got for scale. So, pretty easy transformation, honestly, pretty intuitive, and it's got lots of features in here which, which assist with the transformation, just make it feel good. Just gonna pop the top, that back right off, and hinge it back a little bit just to loosen things up, and I'm gonna go down here and just kind of open up the panels a little bit, just get everything kind of detached from that central beam. Go along the bottom, and the same thing. Just kind of loosen everything up. Loosen everything up, great. Now we're gonna start by pulling at the back end and fanning out fanning out these arm pieces. And you can see once things once things loosen, like things are on like double hinges. So once they once they loosen, it gets a little bit easier. Once you get a little bit of play in there. <clears throat> Great. Going to flip them over and just uh and get this bottom going a little bit. And just spread that out. And we'll hinge down this bottom section. Now I'm gonna come along to the sides and begin to accordion these pieces out. And what, once you do get things loosened up, you can see the lion's share of the work is basically done for you. You know, very, very easy, simple. I'm gonna come along to the bottom and yeah, you did some nice, some nice little ratchets there. Some nice ratcheted movement there. Flip up the feet. So just accordion things down, then flip the feet around. Everything feels real nice. All of the, all of the joints feel good. Nothing, nothing was loose. You know, awesome. So 
We've got the feet flipped down. We've got them rotated. I'm now going to rotate the legs 90 degrees and hinge this piece up and that will snap in, you know, very, very satisfyingly. And you can see, you know, we're starting to take shape here. We've got a little bit of chicken legs going on here and, you know, that's, that's intentional. So we pulled, pulled the arms. Oh, what's up, Quinzel? Now we're going to rotate. Hi. Hi, baby. What's up? Can you, can you, can you? Nope, you cannot. So just look, if you've been, if you tuned in earlier, if you tuned in earlier, you know that, um, let's get Prime out of here. I had, um, I'm just going to complete the same process here. I'm going to hinge that down and I'm just going to, I'm just going to hinge everything kind of in the proper spot. Um, so if you've been tuning into my channel earlier, you know that uh, I adopted a little cat. Um, unfortunately, things did not work out. I had to take the kitten back, um, but I was assured that um, you know they the shelter that I adopted the cat from, you know they they go through kitties very very quickly. So not not an issue basically, but it wasn't working out for us. It wasn't working out for Quinzel or for me. Um, so Quinzel. So yesterday I took um, I took the kitten back, and Quinzel is super happy. Um, the kitten had been visiting us for a week, and um, you know Quinzel kind of got pushed a little bit to the side because of new kitten. <clears throat> but um, now Quinzel is super happy. You know, she's just following me around everywhere now. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a break. And you know what? I might be a one cat person. You know, I know. Shocking. At any rate. Okay. So I pulled out. We're going to try and work around Quinzel though. Uh, so I pulled out. He, he, you know, he's got these like really awesome claws. I love that. You know, I pulled those out. And then what we could do is let's tidy up the back panels here. And it's super easy to do. You basically just rotate and then hinge them and they become like like armor it's like super cool you know and then here we will just hinge it down so it becomes like you know like a sleeve or something of some sort very cool very cool i, I feel like i have that wrong but <clears throat> nope that's it yep I guess we just open this up a little bit, make it look a little bit better, and then we can then we can hinge this um, the elbow down, and then we could fold the arm, and we'll do the same to the other side. Come along here, hinge this arm plating, collapse it against the upper arm. We've got the fingers. Nice. And we're gonna hinge that elbow. And we got the panel taken care of. Rotate to the back. And th this is like the coolest part, I think, is that, um, is that the back, the back piece meets into the front of the sub. So the back of the sub meets into the front of the sub. I think that's super cool because it it's kind of rem even in the bot form it's reminiscent of the alt form which i uh, i think is really cool you know you know even while being truncated in size and we could kind of hinge these um these arms however we like them yeah. those are kind of reminiscent of uh like of Tessaris's arms from the DJD, you know, so I, I like those. <clears throat> and that's uh, that's our little dude. That is our little dude. We'll just uh, fix him up a little bit, make him make sure he could stand. Great. Awesome. Let's turn on that light up feature.
Very cool. A very cool little guy. I think he's awesome. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. He's got an accessory. That's okay. By the way. Oh, Ale hey Alexa, that? stop talking to me. I'm busy, Alexa. Thank you. <laughs> it's not enough. I have to deal with my cat. Okay, let's take his accessory down. Look, in theory, this thing like tabs in at a certain point, I believe. No, nah, it doesn't. It doesn't. We're, we're just to use the the claws. So this this could be honestly, it, it, he doesn't hold it so well. It was my my one gripe with the figure is he does not hold his gun very well. But I think I'm keeping him in sub mode, and even without this thing, it's not a big deal. But you can get it into. You can get some poses out of him. You know, it's not it's not like a deal breaker. So I mean it doesn't look that jaunty. Um, you know, decent, decent, decent little guy. Sorry, I'm trying to work around my cat. <laughs> Are you doing quizzy? Pretty good? Pretty good. Okay. Very cool. Take a look at some scale, right? Get your get your stand out of here, buddy. We've got <clears throat> Siege Red Alert, so you can see how he scales with the deluxe figure in bot mode. You know, uh, he's not the same size. Obviously, he's a little smaller, but um, he's also a very squat figure. But he's got a lot of meat on his bones. <clears throat> got um, oversized legends, so you could see uh, not a Mech Fans Toys release, but um, Overlord and Buh, Overlord DNB, NBK's um, uh, oversized Iron Factory Overlord. You can see how that works. Then we got uh, Voyager Siege Prime. Yeah, obviously, it, it, he's. I call him a deluxe scale figure, even though he, he's really not. You know, he's somewhere in between Legends and Deluxe, but, you know, just a lot of great features to him. You know, a lot of great attention to detail. I highly recommend that if you like real world stuff, you know, and if you like transforming figures or, look, if you like uh, submersibles, you know, it's just a well-made figure. So, definitely recommend him. Thanks for joining me here today, and I'll see you next time.